In this video, I'm going to be using Illustrator to convert some black and white patterns of iron fences and then use Illustrator to extrude and bevel them to create a high poly and then export them, bring them into Maya to create a really simple one poly plane and then Painter to bake it on as an alpha map. I have a few different patterns uh, that I can use. Any pattern that's like this will work. Having very crisp lines is nice. It doesn't have to be a vector. This is just um, just a WebP file. We'll convert to vector in a moment. A white background is preferable. So if it doesn't have it, you can go into Photoshop, delete the background, make it white, and it'll make this process much, much easier with less cleanup. In Illustrator, I'm going to go to File New. I'm just going to do 1920 by 1080. When it's open, you can drag and drop or go to File Place and find the image that you want to use. I'll do this one. And click anywhere and it will place. It might be too big, so I'm just going to hold down Shift and drag it down a bit. And it doesn't actually matter how big it is. As long as it fits here, it'll be fine. When I click on it, I have image trace pop up, but I do want more options than just that. So I'm going to go to window and image trace, which is apparently already open oh, on a different monitor, I think. There it is. And there's a few settings that I want. I have black and white. That's exactly what I want, but I don't actually want the white. I just want the black to be converted. I'm going to open up the advanced tab and come down to where it says ignore color. And when you turn it on, it should default to white. If not, click on the color swatch and choose white. So now it's going to convert everything to vector except for uh, the white. So when I hit trace, should be nice and quick, and if I zoom in, you can see I now have a very clean, crisp vector uh, trace of this pattern. Once I have that, I can close the image trace and go to Window and 3D and Materials. And with it selected, I'm going to go to Extrude. And I now have a 3D model of that pattern very, very quickly. And I'm going to scroll down a bit to where it says bevel and turn on the bevel. It might be hard to see here, but it will uh, just give it a nice beveled look to it. There's a few different bevels you can choose from. Classic round, I'm going to go with round, kind of like it. And once I have <clears throat> something that I like, so you can see it does change it a little bit, but I like round. I want to export this, and you can export as an OBJ. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit more, export 3D object. It'll bring up the asset export, asset 1. I'm going to get rid of USDA. If it gives you something other than an OBJ, just click on this and choose OBJ from the drop down. If you don't have the one that you're trying to export here, just click on this plus sign and you'll have whichever you have, whichever one you have selected will be your exported asset. And then I can hit export, I'm going to choose a folder, max demo. Select, and it will be exported. And it will be in a folder called OBJ with an MTL file and an OBJ. I'm going to get rid of the MTL file. I don't really need that. And in Maya, let's not have this bread tutorial open. I'm going to go to File and Import. Desktop. Fence, OBJ, Asset 2, 
And here it is, and it's a pretty nice looking high poly model. If I click on it, it'll be all triangles, but the geometry is actually not terrible. It does have some UVs, which again, are not the worst, but I don't actually need these. I don't need those UVs at all. What I want to do is make a plane that is this size so I can bake the information on. So I'm going to create a plane that is one by one, rotate it 90 degrees, and scale it up so it fits. Go into my front camera. That fits pretty well. Might bring it down just a little bit. There we go. I do need to UV this, so I'm just going to select that UV shell, hit unfold, and then hit layout. And this is my low poly. So I'll go to file, export selection, and it'll be called bent low. I don't need to export the high poly one, I already have an OBJ of it. If you want it to be an FBX, I'm going to select it and type in fence high. The OBJ should work, but if you want an FBX, you can just re-export it. Next, I need to again get rid of the bread and go to fence. Here it is. And open up my low poly fence into painter, which is just a flat plane. Here it is. I'm going to hit F8 or hit the croissant on top to open up my bake menu. I'm going to load in my high definition mesh for my fence high. Here it is. Red means it's going to be ignored in the bake. So I'm going to bring my max frontal distance up a little bit so it's all blue. I don't have an ID, so I'm going to turn off ID, and I'm going to turn on opacity in my bake settings. And might as well just bring that up a little bit, and hit bake. And I forgot a setting, so I'm going to cancel. Right now, let's just get out of this right for a moment, you can see that it's really much bigger than what it's supposed to be. And that will happen when your high poly model has a lot of holes in it. It's not a solid mesh, it has a lot of negative space. And to fix that in Painter, it's going to bring my dilation width all the way down to zero. And then it'll be a much cleaner uh, bake, much more accurate. And I'm going to return to painting mode. So I have a pretty good start. However, even though I baked out an opacity map, I don't have it. It's not being used, and there's a few things we have to do to turn on opacity. On the very top right, on my shader settings, I'm going to click on that, where it says ASM Metal Rough. I'm going to come down to the third one down on the left, PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. That will give me the option of opacity. Alpha Blending is opacity. In my Texture Set settings, next to my Layers tab, Going to scroll down to the channels and the plus sign, turn on opacity. So now my project will, or my uh, model will have options for opacity, and I can create a new fill layer. I'm going to turn off everything except opacity, and then in my library, I'm going to turn off my search filter for materials and search for opacity and drag that onto the opacity box. And now I'll have a nice flat uh, or transparent version of this fence. And then I can start texturing it however I want. So if I want it to be metal, I'll drag the metal polished onto it. Maybe change the metal type from brass to iron. A nice iron fence. And you can really do any texturing you want. So if I want to have some metal edgeware, have a slightly different, let's do nickel, make it a little bit brighter, make a black mask, generator, and find metal edgeware. And I can have just a little bit of texturing here and there. If I want it rusted, I can add some rust to it with another black mask and a generator and add dripping rust. And have a very nice looking low poly fence. And if you export it, you will have 
for like Unity or Unreal, you'll have the opacity and can use that as a clipping mask. So I'm going to export and I'm going to go into Unity for this. Desktop fence. Unity. Output template. I'm going to scroll down for Unity. I'll do the HD uh, pipeline metallic standard. File type will be PNGs. It does have to be a PNG, which is default. And then I will hit export. When that's done, you will have uh, three different textures. You'll have your base map, your mask map, and your normal. The base map also has transparency. The mask map is metallic, uh, spec glossiness or specular, and ambient inclusion, and the detail map if you have one. And then the normal map is just the normal map. If you're making a new scene, you go to New Project in the Unity Hub and make sure you choose either uh, URP or HDRP, whatever you exported for. I think I already have one that I can open. All right, and I have my Unity scene, nothing super fancy, just two brick uh, fence posts, stone ground, and I have an HDR for the background. I'm going to have my textures and bring them into my materials folder and then bring my fence low in to not my materials folder into my models folder when you import something from Maya by default it's going to be centimeters so if I drag this into painter or into unity it's going to be relatively small so instead of doing that I am going to turn off the convert units and then hit apply down here. When I drag it in, it's going to be quite large, which it shouldn't be. Help to bring in the correct file. So here it is. I turned off the turned off the convert units, hit apply, and now I have something that almost fits between my fence posts. I'll just drag that one over a little bit. I need to create a new material, so I'll right click in the assets, go to create and material, and I'll call it iron fence, and apply my textures. So I have a base map, I have a mask map, and I have a normal. On the normal, you have to click on it, and in the inspector, change it from default to normal map, and hit apply. I also did export at 4K, so I'm going to change my max size to 4K and hit apply again. And then I can add my iron fence onto my plane, and you can see it's not using the um, opacity. It's a very easy fix. Select your material, and in the inspector where it says alpha clipping, turn that on, and it will use the alpha can then place it so it looks like it's actually attached to something instead of floating. There we are. And you can have a pretty nice looking uh, fence. You can duplicate it a couple times and it will make it look like it has some nice depth from far away. When you get really close it becomes obvious that it's just image planes but from a normal distance it actually does look pretty good. If you're in the universal render pipeline, it's almost the exact same process, but there's a drop down somewhere on the material that says um, alpha clipping or somewhere, something like that around here.